Hello and welcome to DT with Mrs G. Today we're making crazy catapults. All you need are some lolly sticks, elastic bands, a few Lego bricks to put in the middle or maybe some rubbers instead and some plastic lids and I've used blue tack as little balls, cannonballs. So let's get making. The first one we're going to make is the simple catapult which works on the basis of a pivot mechanism and stored energy in the elastic bands and the sticks which are slightly springy as well. So for your first catapult you need to take two lolly sticks and put them together. You take one elastic band and you wrap it around the end as many times as possible until it's quite tight. Done. So it's near the end. Then you take your Lego brick and you wedge it on its side in between or you could be using a rubber here. So I'm pushing that in. I don't want to snap the sticks and then I'm going to hold the sticks down otherwise it tends to come out again. Once you've got that on, get the other elastic band on as soon as possible and you need about three twists of an elastic band to hold that Lego brick in place. Okay, so now we're storing the energy in that band and, it, and the sticks fighting against this, this pivot, this Lego brick here. So let's just check. So we've got some flicking action, some energy stored in there. And then the last thing to do is to put your little bit of blue tack on your lid, glue that onto the end like a little bucket to put your cannonball in and then test to see if it works. Next, time to turn this basic catapult into a super crazy catapult. So we want to stick across the top and more little buckets on it for shooting our cannonballs off. So I'm going to take a lolly stick and I'm going to use another elastic band to strap it across the top. So you want to get it over and over at as many different angles as possible, strapping it on. It can get quite fiddly, but you will get there in the end. Twist it, change the angle. Oh, I think I'm about there. Okay, yep, there we go. And then onto that, you want to add your little buckets. So I've got four plastic lids. There, so I'm squeezing them on well with a bit of blue tack again. And then finally here. There we go. So now I've got my super launcher device. The only thing is it's a little bit unstable. And to make things stable, we need to give them a wider base, especially now it's heavier above. So the last thing for me to do is to put a, a lolly stick on the bottom like that to give it more stability. And I'm going to probably give it some little blue tack feet on each end as well, which will help it to stay still even more. So just to get another elastic band now and strap that last lolly stick onto the end. So there you can see I've got the, the last little lolly stick attached and um, you can see it's going across diagonally holding it on. Another reason for having these two little blue tack feet is because the elastic bag sticks out a bit so to make it flat um, and not wobbling on this elastic band bump I just needed to raise it up a little with the blue tack on each side. So now to put your launcher to the test your super catapult and here we go yay finally we're going to make a slingshot model which is supposed to be good for long distance and accurate shooting so for this I'm going to use two pencils so we make the basic model again so we take an elastic band and we wind it quite tightly around the ends of the two pencils like that and then we put our pivot in the middle to start building up the energy in the elastic bands it's quite tricky right again I'm going to hold those two pencils in place whilst I put the elastic band above oops trying to come out okay and then We've got the basic model ready to go, but for this one I'm going to be shooting from a little cup in between the two elastic bands. So now we need to create that cup. So for this you're going to need a plastic lid 
and the help of an adult, a pair of scissors and a chopping board. So take the lid and get the adult to make a hole in one side like that and then exactly opposite on the other side as well like that okay so now I've got little tiny holes either side of my lid now this next elastic band gets cut in half there we go well snipped open I mean and then you have to feed it through I mean, what you want is for the elastic band to go over the top of the lid and then into each side. So you're going to need to force it through with the scissors. I'm going to get near the end and push the end of that elastic band through and then I can pull it out the other side. That's one through. Then I get the other end and I push that through the hole. Okay, so I've managed to pull the elastic band through the holes on the lid and now what we're doing is we're just making sure it's about even. So there we go, can you see? It's now threaded across the lid and coming out the hole on each side. That's our little bucket from which we're going to fling more little missiles. Um, so now that needs to be attached to the pencil. And the way you do that is you hold the top end of the elastic band to the pencil and literally wrap another one over it many, many times. Twist and turn. Okay. Okay, so that's attached on that side. And now I take the other one, line that up with the top of the pencil like that and wind another elastic band over and over the end. Believe it or not, it's tight enough to hold that catapult basket, that mechanism, in place. There we go. Let's just give it a check. Yes, so attaching it with two elastic bands works really well. And then for the final test, we Obviously put our little missile, our little object, in the bucket and then we fire it, not at someone's face, at some object or a target. Here's an easy way of making a target. Get yourself a paper plate, draw some rings and circles in it, stick it on the wall and aim at it. Yay! A stack of cups makes a fab target too. Yes! Get in there! Well, I hope you enjoyed making and using your catapults as much as I did. Um, thank you for tuning in today and I look forward to seeing you another time. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Off for some more target practice. Yeah.